Hello! Welcome to episode 12 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Wow. Yes, tonight we're doing pinball. Pinball across a whole bunch of 8-bit and 16-bit consoles. Um, so, at least these are games that I don't have to learn how to play. Kind of. Because you'd be surprised at how often it changes the control scheme for these. Should be left and right and fire the ball, but nope. Um, but before we get started, let me just move this to one side a little bit and lean back to show you in its glory the the new Retro Lounge t-shirt. Now, I don't know how to tell you how they're all available because we're not selling them just yet because I want to get the right the right feel. You know, the right t-shirt. But doesn't it look good on a black t-shirt? Mmm. Um, so, who knows? We may be giving them away as prizes at some point. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, oh yes. I might get a mug next. Who knows? Um, right, so um, I need to be down there. So let me just uh, flick over. And tonight we're going to have, well, we won't be playing pinball action, unfortunately, but we'll be having some pinball action. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get rid of this. No, not that. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Um, oh, 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 also, also, I should remember, Naughty Cluster kind of reminded me, but didn't in she, that. so in the chat room she said I want one and do you know what I'd be quite happy to buy her one because she designed this logo the, the logo you're enjoying she designed it so I'm more than happy to buy her one but what I should be doing that I forgot last week is thanking people who subscribe and that would be Rory J7 who subscribed week before last I didn't mention him on the last one I should have sorry Rory and Basil Rogers, who um, only subscribed yesterday. So thank you, you two. It, much appreciated. Uh, right, let's get on to some pinball, shall we? So um, just, bef <laughs> just before the show started, about actually about 10 minutes before the show started, uh, my computer decided that was a perfect time to crash. Um, so... I'm hoping that everything thinks it's all in the right place and knows what it's doing. Um, but we'll find out, shall we? So we're going to start, as we always do, with um, a pinball machine, a pin, pinball machine, a pinball game on the Atari VCS or 2600, depending on where you're from. Um, I might keep saying Atari VCS because... That seems to be how people stumble across us on YouTube. So, uh, right, okay, and believe it or not, there is a, pin, a video pinball on the VCS. Let me get it to a size that you can enjoy it. Um, now, it took me a while to get this started last time because I was having problems with my controller. But um, let's see what we get now. Oh, no, I can't play it on that screen, can I? I have to play it on this one. Okay. So, then. Okay, so that one seems to do something. So it seems to suggest... Oh. Right. Okay, bugger off. So one of these has got to work, then. Why is one of these not working? Ugh. What a great start. I just... I can't see that the controllers are not right. But before I had to actually... Um, restart OpenMU after I'd connected my pad nope none of these buttons are working what a bag of shite 
And yet, the, the, the buttons that don't exist. I'll teach you up and MU. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, that's annoying. Because it's already... Oh, there it is, there it is. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay. Right. I have had it working. Because I tested all the games before I start. Oh, oh, what was that? Uh, uh. Okay, right. Okay, I believe we've got it working. <laughs> um, so this, this is a, an annoying one because it's, um, it's the D-pad is left and right. So you have to play it like scooched over to the other side of the pad to play it a little bit like, like that. So, because originally you just had a joystick, so I assume you went left and right, which may come back to haunt us later on, um, with an analog stick, no less. So let's see how do we how do we bounce the ball like that? Okay. No. So there we go. Now this feels to me like it might be a, a homebrew version released after the um, after pe oh oh what a dick after people stopped well using the twenty six hundred. Although I might just be doing doing a disservice to the uh, to the VCS. What? Bloody hell! Whoa there! It kind of plays itself. I've not hit my flippers yet. Oh, ah, it's not the first time tonight. You'll see that. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I'll do it a lot. It's not the last time tonight. You'll see that. Is what I meant. Oh, where are you going? So when I was having a look to see if they worked earlier on, I um, there does seem to be. common control scheme as in it seems to be d-pad controls uh, left flipper and buttons on the right hand side control the right flipper which you know makes sense it's not not too uncomfortable
Actually, if I had room, I should have put my arcade stick in because that's got actually got flipper buttons on it. Whether this would have recognised it is a different kind of fish. Oh, that's a bugger. I've got my thumb resting on both parts of the D spring, a uh, D pad, but it's stopping, stopping it moving. It only wants to move one way at once. I do partially feel like I could just walk away from this and it would just carry on playing. Come on. Come on. Say, I flicked the wrong card for one and it still did it. So this is what you come and see. This is what you come and watch. This is this is what you've come for. The excitement of uh, Atari VCS pinball. Oh, keep going. Oh, what's the Atari sim we'll get? Oh, there we go. So I've got more. Um, oh, that might be it. There we go. I was going to say, I've got more games than I would normally play on one of these sessions. Um, because there was a lot of pinball games. I missed a load out as well. So, and there's not a lot to explain about pinball. You'd stop the ball from getting through the paddle. The, the I'm sticking with paddles. And um, you hit the pins. So, there you go. That was Atari VCS 2600 Video Pinball. Okay, let's move on to uh, the Atari Lynx. Okay, that's their handheld uh, battery guzzler. And this is called Pinball Jam. Num, num. Um, so, let's see what we get. A tiny, tiny screen. I'm not sure how it's going to look on this uh, super retro telly. But uh, we'll find out in a second. Oh, there you go. It feels to me this might be based on some real... Real pinball tables. Let me... Oh, yeah. I'm going to increase the size a tiny bit, but I don't want to do it too bad because I don't want to hurt your eyes. Um, but the fact it's got Elvira on it suggests to me that it might um, might be based on real ones. Okay. Oh, let's party indeed, but that's horrible. All right. Uh, right, so what co what control scheme are you? Buttons? Okay. Where's volleyball? Right, so all four directions on the D-pad. Make the left flipper flip. And two of the buttons on the right. So, how do I... Well, well, yes, chat room. Um, I think you could probably see that um, the flippers are right by the nippers. So I'm sure that's what's bouncing them off. Okay. Let's sh oh, okay. Now I have to wait. Now I've found which button it is. The select button, would you believe? Slow too. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm struggling to follow the ball with all these little white bits and pieces floating around. Oh, I 
Oh shit. Nope. Leaving so soon? Not through choice. How about another ball? Oh. So soon? How about another ball? So there didn't seem to be any choice of table, so and I don't know if this is one of those that's got multiple tables on it. Oh, it is a ballet one though, so it probably is based on a real one. Oh. So Let's talk in more concentrating. How about another ball? Go on then, Elvira, you've tempted me. Leaving so oh! Say. How about another ball? Is she supposed to give me this money? Difficult to see where the um, uh, ramps and stuff are. So, oh, I don't think there's any point in putting names in, do you? Not for how badly I played then. Uh, right, okay, we're going to move on to a little um, black and yellow action as we move to the Game Boy. We're going to start on the Game Boy with Hollywood Pinball. There we go. Ew. I hear you cry. That's another one that's not going to really fit. Games from a square screen. There we go. Right. Let's see um, what the control scheme is on this one. Can't be pinball, but it can't be Game Boy, Game Boy. It must be Game... Oh, Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color. That's what GBC stands for. Okay. Right. Okay, so general how do we fire the ball this time? Oh, that's pause. Oh, down. Okay. So obviously we've got a Oh fucking Stupid game. Yep. 
Yes, uh, not Jaws. Uh, not Jaws. Um, pinball. Nothing to see here, Governor. Oh, the. Sometimes they don't seem to have any oomph to them, those flippers. The ball doesn't go. I feel that might be a little bit too loud for you guys. Let's just turn it down a tiny bit. the other thing I always forget about top flippers let's see how slow that was then Shark meat. I ask you. Wonder if there's. Oh, I was going to say. Wonder if there's got any other tables on it. But maybe you have to get through jaws before you. Uh... Oh, what have we got? A million. Yeah, you just can't get any umph behind these flippers. They're just not very... Uh... Everyone assumes this is not based on a, a real pinball machine. Keep getting in there. You know, I thought that word up there by the, uh, that one up there, I thought it said jam. Yeah, all right. So, what else have we got? Oh, we do have other ones. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well it is called Hollywood Pinball, I guess. Right, let's uh, see what other options we've got. See if the flippers are any better. Imagine they're not, I imagine they've all got the same sort of programming behind them. Thank you. 
this, I know it. Well, I don't know, but I, I, this sounds like a copyright skirting version of the Flintstone soundtrack. But nothing else says anything about it, other obviously dinosaurs. I just keep hearing it. Well, look, we'll just try the Raiders of the, I mean, Ancient Temple of the Aztecs one, and then we'll uh, move on to a different game. room disagree not flintstone at all this is raiders of the lost arky though So I'm not getting that last gem. Right, it's time we moved away from Hollywood Pinball. Unfortunately, we're still staying with the Game Boy and it's annoying music. Uh, let's try Pinball Mania. Well, this one might actually... Yeah, this one is not... Ah, so it's, it's not a Game Boy Color, this one. This is... Um, black and white uh, but by the same developer so we might not play this one very well long because we know what to expect don't we so let's see what
So it's pinball mania, which would suggest it had a number of. choices of table. Doesn't look like it does, though. Alright, does it play the same way? Looks like it. Oh, it's a lot slower, though. Oh. Alright. Different control scheme as well. On the upside, we won't have to look at this for very long. We do have uh, one more Game Boy one to look at in a second, which is how long I think I'm going to last through this ball. Oh, see. Okay, I don't think we need to see any more of that. We're going to move on to. Oh, we've we've got another Game Boy one. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Here we go, this one is called Pinball Revenge of the Gator. So, um, let's see if uh, this ball physics is any better. I'm not very hopeful. Down, with button, oh! Is the same button for flipping the same one as put it is. Look at that. Right, what's going on here? Oh. Oh. Bastard. Okay. Just getting the lie of the table. That's all it is. Looks like we've got different levels then. I mean, it's cuter. Oh, back in the top. Thank <laughs> you. 
thought that door was open a minute ago. Oh, for heaven's sake. Wow, oh, what? Wow, that happened quick. Is that it? Okay. So that's stuff in the mouth pushed me back to the top level, I'm guessing. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. When it's decided it's had enough of you, it takes you quick, doesn't it? Shit. I just need a, another game of that. Just, just a quick game. Wonder if I can get in the tail of uh, how to get through those bloody tables. Right, bottom table. Top table. Hitting the crocodiles in the face, do something. Go! Oh! Well, that wasn't my fault then. I hate it when you lose the ball, there's no control over. Does it on real pinball as well? So it looks like you have to get rid of those things by the door all in one hit while you're there. Right then. How'd you get up there? Ah, you nearly had me then. Shite pack. Oh! Oh! That's not fair. Fire in the ball so it just falls right between my paddles. Come on. Sleepy dicks. Oh. All right. I think out of the game, no, I quite like the Hollywood ones, but I, quite, I, I think that one's a better game game out of the Game Boy ones that we've played. Right, we're gonna um, we're gonna move on to the Game Boy Advance now. 
um, where everything's more advanced. And um, this is a special treat for my uh, number one listener, moderator of the show, uh, Nutty Cluster, especially for her. Um, and you'll find out why in a sec. Yes, that's right. It's Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. Let's get you in the screen. There was a um, different colour one pinball, but I just picked one at random. And this is it. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, let's see what we've got, but I bet we've got a ball, some flippers, and some Pokemon. Would be my guess. That's right, get that pokey hat on. Let's play Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, I'm playing normal. Right, what's the uh, controls on this one? So left on the D-pad. Oh. Hmm. I know I picked a normal, but it still feels a little slow. Oh, yeah. Good job, it's saving my ball. How'd you get up there? Shoot it up a bit here. Oh, referee, come on. Oh, what's catching mode? Do I have to hit Pokemon now? I'm not quite sure what I've got to hit. Oh, nearly. Come on, come on. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened there. Oh, do I have to? Gotcha, I see. I have to pokeball him. Ah, right, okay, okay. Oh, do I need to start it again? Oh, that. Oh, 
Ten coins. Yay. Ooh. Oh, you can evolve, evolve Pokemon as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to get something different this time. to try and get up that ramp because if you don't it shoots you back it shoots you back towards the hole down the flippers and you just get almost out like that come on Pikachu <sighs> I see Nutty Clusters found some Pokemon uh, emojis Get it up one of these side ramps by the looks of it, don't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, not again. <coughs> and it popped a ball out, horse coffee. Okay, I hit him a few times. Oh. I don't know. Should we try the other table? Seventh. <laughs> God, can you imagine if you pick slow for the ball speed? Oh.
I'm gonna regret saying that, aye. Oh, yeah. Excuse my doorbell, keep going off. Not doorbell. Motion. Motion at the door. Oh. I'm losing my ball saver. Yeah, I'm going to catch a squidward. Oh, not like that on what? Sticking with it being a Squidward chat room. Looks it looks like Squidward. Come on, time's running out. Now I hit the ramps. Okay, I want to get SpongeBob next. Oh, look at you, naughty cluster on, on the uh, on the ball. Someone assumes that you just the more you the less balls you lose, the uh, you catch all Pokemon if you play it enough. Evolve this, am I? Am 
Where do I get the um, the V and the L from? Well, I think that's uh, seventh again. I think that's uh, enough Pokemon for this evening. Um, because we're more than halfway through the show, but we're not more than halfway through the games we've got. So it's possible we might push these off to Pinball 2 if we don't get far enough down the list. Okay, let's move to the... Um, the Sega Game Gear now with um, a game called Wizard Pinball. So again, this is going to be another one of those that's got a square screen because it's a handheld. Um, based on the Master System architecture, pretty much. You could get a little a little converter to play your Master System cartridges in the back of the Game Gear. Um, where is it? Where is it? It's not there. Now it is. Okay, Wizard Pinball. Boom. Oh, we perhaps need to make it a little smaller. That'll do you. That'll do you. Right, okay, let's uh, see what this is like. One player. Okay. Oh. All right. Don't know what the uh, what the flippers are yet, because they don't work. Okay. Mm. 
They are the same. They just don't work until you've hit the ball. Just a bit rubbish. I thought I had a bit more of the table to go down. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh. Wow, straight through the flippers. That's another thing I dislike on pinball. My Star Wars pinball does that as well. Straight between. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to watch it go through the flippers. Could have been my fault, that one. Keep forgetting how much table there is. Whoa! It's a very bouncy ball. When you hit it from the bottom flippers and it goes right the way to the top of the table, you know, you can see how bouncy it is. I think we're playing with the bouncy ball. Yay! Magic cow, Morris. Try catching some balls first. First step. To, how, how on earth could you multi-ball this, this game? It's so bouncy and fast. Oh, where did that one come from? dear well do you know what if we didn't have so many games to, I might have another got that but that's the the only Sega game gear we've got so we're skipping now to um... do you know what we're gonna we're gonna skip the NES sorry all you Nintendo heads but we're gonna go straight from the from the NES to the DS. Let's try a DS game again. We have varying degrees of success with them on this emulator. Let's see what happens. Dum, 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 dum. I normally switch, but when I switch, I lose all the chat. And I don't want to do that. So, um... Let's see how it looks on this screen. Tiny. Which I might do, I might just temporarily bring it to the top. Sorry, Naughty Cluster, for going over your hard work. It does mean I keep keep the chat. Okay. Mm. 
And I feel this is probably the one where you'll need to have the uh, top, top screen. Classic mode. Let's have a look what we've got. Right. Oh, let's try Dino Wars, shall we? Oh, you, you don't need it. It's just the top of the... It's the backboard of a, a real game by the looks of it. What do you do? How do you start? Ready to shoot. Like that. What are the controls? Not that. Okay. Oh! Shoulder buttons. Okay. got a more realistic combo actions and sounds <laughs> don't like not being able to see the whole table at once scared about changing the camera in case I can't see anything. Let's get a decent camera. Oh, this is the best we've got, I think. Combo. Double combo. See, you can't see when I'm in a vicinity to use it. to shoot. Second life. Oh, you see the slippers up here and all. Didn't even see them. change saw something here every day see me I just remember that I had flippers up there oh ready to shoot oh shut it out Whoa. Second life. Yeah, please. Combo. Ball one lock ball change.
Are you ready for ball change? This is quite insistent on changing my balls. change. Down quite quick. Ready to shoot. To shoot. Oh. Okay, yes. Oh. Second life. Coming back round. Ready to shoot. So I think I'm done after this. Bonus times two. Oh, second life. Are you ready for? 
for ball change. Second life. Second life. Lots of second lives going on here. Right, granted, I need them, but. Down the middle. Combo. One million. Right down the middle. Just said one million. Oh, there we go. Longer than anticipated. Dino Wars on the DS. Right. I realised you've had to be looking at a small screen then for that, but I'm going to move back to more TV size screens now as we move on to the Mega Drive. Yes. So, let's get you some Mega Drive action going on. Let's move that back under under there. Nope, not that one. Duh. That one. There we go. And let's hijack you some Mega Drive windows. Okay. Oh, I've got no idea what this is going to be. This is called Crew Ball. C R U E. Heavy Metal Pinball. So, let's see what we're getting. Somebody in the chat's going to tell me this is uh, Motley Crew. I imagine. Okay, what are our. Okay, we're back to the D pad. So, left. Uh oh. Alright. Okay. I'd like to be able to see the flippers off the bottom of the screen while I'm trying to flip in flip.
going to assume for you. This is the right position on the flipper to flip it straight through the holes. Yet to find it. Are we playing breakout? Wrong button for the flippers. God damn it. We've got a couple of Mega Drive games, I think we've seen uh, plenty of that. So let me just update my list there. Right, okay. So, oh, this sounds promising, doesn't it? Still on the Mega Drive, we're going with a game called Psycho Pinball. Let's see what on earth that is. Sega! For those who didn't miss it. Okay, start. Oh. Well, I tell you what, let's start with Psycho, shall we? Okay. Well, that looks quite busy. Okay, so down is launch. Left. Ah, oh, right, okay. Away. Didn't even see that one coming, that one. Bloody hell. Oh, and again. Maybe it, perhaps I don't pull back as far.
lost strength on that run. Ooh! Jeez, I don't know what happened there. Right down the middle. Oh! Right, so there's a pin behind it that bounces, I see. Which is handy when it goes right down the middle. Oh, now what? Try one of their other tables, see what they've got. Yeah, let's try the wild west one. Where's the bank? Two. Oh, nice. Oh, every time I see that error message, that not error message, that message, it's bloody straight out into the. Uh, Shoot the bank. No, can't shoot the bank, it's gone. Too early with that top flipper. I think it's up that way. Okay, I think out of the two Sega ones, this would win in a fight. I prefer it to um, 
to the other side, uh, Sega, Mega Drive, the other Mega Drive one. Um, okay, let's have, um, let me have a look at it, I'm conscious of the time for you. Okay. Let's move that one to next time. And uh, let's get to our last two. Our last two. Two systems that you won't be massively uh, aware of. Um, I think out of the two, Virtual Boy is probably the worst one. So let's do that first. At least we end on a high note. Kind of. We end on a note that uses analog sticks. Uh, so, you probably want me to hijack this so you can see it as well, won't you? What do you mean, no? I've seen a Virtual Boy screen, please, no. A bit of Japanese writing. Super wide screen. Let's see if it's uh, let's see what its perspective is like. If you remember back to our Space Invaders um, episode, oh, oh, perspective was the right mind uh, messer, mind messer. That's right. Ignoring sass like that, chat room. Okay. Welcome to Space World. Let's go. Let's go. What have we got? I start with Alien. What are our controls? Oh, I can use uh, right. I can use shoulder buttons. That's kind of good. The flippers feel a bit funky though. Wow, not a ball, a puck. Oh, well that just didn't seem to stick to my paddle then. My flipper. Let's try again. I mean, it could be the perspective. Look, it just... What's going on? I know you can't tell from your side, you just think I'm a shit player. Alright. Oh, that's, oh, that's so weird. I don't understand what it's doing. Oh, thank you, Nutty Cluster, who's just shared a hundred bits. If anybody else would want to join Nutty Cluster and give me some bits, that's, uh, I, you know, I won't say no. I suppose. Uh, oh. More details at the end of the show, I guess. This doesn't play like any of the games we've played so far. I think I'm getting the eye in with the flippers on now. Except for that bit, I don't understand what's going on there. It's just like it loses all momentum and goes... Do you know what? Let's try a different table, in case it's just a weird table. I mean, it's galactic, maybe there's different gravity. Welcome to space. UFO. 
Naughty Cluster likes UFOs. Let's play a UFO one. See what happens there. Okay. All right. Still got those bloody chunky paddles, though, ain't it? It's... Feels a little bit like a... An air hockey puck. It's very weird. I don't even know, to be honest with you, if the... Um, off the top of my head, because it's sat in a box at the moment, but... I've got a virtual buy. It certainly doesn't have shoulder buttons. I'm sure it doesn't. Obviously, if you've got one and you're looking at it right now and it has, then uh, leave a comment below. I, I just can't, I can't get to grips with this. Same hit over and over again. See, sometimes it's playing exactly as you would expect. And then other times it's acting really weird. Is that the only way to score points on this table? Shooting it through the aliens. a bit worried then. Chat room. You're quite sassy tonight. I am blaming the game because it plays fucking weird. A pinball machine. I know how pinball's supposed to feel, and that doesn't feel like it. And even then, I scored a... enough to actually get my name in. Which I'm very surprised. 
the way it plays. Where did I get fifth? So better than some of the games I've played tonight. Whew. No more Galactic Pinball for me, virtual boy. Holy crap bags. Right. So we're going to our final uh, pinball. And this one plays with the analog sticks, which feels quite weird. Let me get you a, a screen that you can see. So I've been pretty good this week, haven't I? I've not, uh, not started playing and not shown you what I've played. Which is generally what I do. Uh, right, okay. So it's not going to be there. It's not. So and then you have to go back in. Change that. And then it is there. Cost. I have no idea. Here we go. Devil's Crush. On the Turbo Graphics. Let me get it into the screen for you. There we go. Um, yes, let's see how it plays, shall we? I don't really know. Let's play it fast and see what happens. New game. Okay, what am I? Oh, I'm, I keep forgetting. Yeah, it's... Uh, Is this another one that doesn't do anything till you've started it? Right, pause works. Okay. It's not shoulder buttons. Let's fire the ball. And see if they... Okay. So I've got a left, I've got a left paddle, but I don't know why... Oh, my right paddle's a button. So that's not confusing at all. Straight through the hole. Oh! Oh. Boy, it comes down there fast. Oh, 
just noticed that demon's following it round with his eyes. Oh. Alright, my reactions are slowing down a little bit now. Because I'm tired. Another ball? Or is that it? Looks like that might be it if you're counting everything up. Alright, well, let's have another go at that before uh, before we wrap up for the night. Yeah, I'm going to try it on slow. It's really weird playing it with a stick after you've been using the D-pad all night. And yet, in some ways, it kind of feels better. Oh. Oh. Well, where'd it go then? Oh, okay. <laughs> Which side's the ball going to come out on? I think the ball might be stuck behind there. I mean, it happens sometimes on mine, but... I mean, some of the other games had a... had a tilt. Oh, that might be it. There we go. Look! Wow, you just wouldn't think they'd program that in, would you? Oh, sorry, that was my, my reactions. I'm not blaming the game. Did shit at that time. This is the slow scores. This isn't the big ones I've just played. Um, do you know what? I think that's it. I think we've covered as much pinball as we can take for tonight. Uh, so. You know what time it is. Yes. Oh, actually, look at that. It doesn't have its... Um, it needs to be there, doesn't it? So it's got its screen overlay on it. There you go. Um, it's time for the wheel. Yes. You've been here long enough by now. You know what happens. We spin the wheel. Tells us what we're going to do next week. On... Uh, ooh. On episode 13 next week. Oh, right. Okay. 
Um, the various categories, I'll tell you what they are once we land on them. It's easy as that. So let's spin the wheel. Okay, uh, same game, different system. We're going to look at uh, different representations of the game Asteroids through through the 16-bit, 8-bit, 16, 32-bit era. Um, if they all look very samey, we might find things that were based on Asteroids. Um, and if that doesn't fill up the time, we'll play some, some requests. If anybody has any requests, if you have requests, um, then, in fact, let's go back to, to the other screen and end the show, shall we? Oh, do you know what? Hey, I'm going to go into here. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, so, guess, you've got requests. Have you got a game that you, you remember from your childhood and you want to see me have a crack at it? Then... Um, there, there, there it is. There, there. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's the easiest way to submit a request. Uh, you could always comment. If you're watching on YouTube, you can comment on this video um, with a request and let us know what you'd like to see. Um, it would be super if you could be like... Uh, Basil Rogers and Rory J7 and followers. Just just follow us, that would be good. Um, but if you want to uh, subscribe and you know those sorts of things, that would be good. If you're watching on YouTube, uh it would be good if you subscribe to the channel and um all the other things that click that bell, I, I guess. I I never do. It doesn't matter. Uh, but if you drop a comment in the in the um, in in the video in the comments, then I will respond. Definitely. Um, so that's it. That's the end of uh, this episode of Pinball. I'm going to take my flippers to bed. Uh, that's it from me. Unless the chat room's got anything that I've forgotten, because I normally do. But um, we'll be back next Monday at seven, as always with another Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. So until then, goodbye.